Today is January the 26th. It is a Tuesday. And today is the continuation of reading the book of Genesis. Which is one of the 66 books that make up the Holy Bible. Now, join me in today's episode of reading one chapter from the book of Genesis in this in this very short clip we will come to get through the chapter through listening through the voice of mine as I will be the speaker or as they say the announcer as one is reading also through this chapter which is chapter 19 we're gonna come to read what is the difference between the free woman and the slave woman here we go chapter 19 verse 1 reads and the two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city when he saw them he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My Lord, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. No, they answered. We will spend the night in the square. But he insisted so strongly that they did go with him and enter his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. They called to Lot, where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we can have relationships with them. Verse 6. Lot went out to meet them and shut the door before before him, behind them, and said, No, my friends, don't do this wicked thing. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let me bring them out to you and you can do what you like with them. But don't do anything to these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof. Get out of our way, they replied. This fellow came here as a foreigner, and now he wants to play the judge. We'll we'll treat you worse than them. They kept bringing pressure on Lot, and moved forward to break down the door. But the man inside reached out and pulled Lot back into the house and shut the door. Then they struck the men who were at the door of the house, young and old, with blindness so that they could not find the door. The two men said to Lot, Do you have anyone else here, sons-in-law, sons or daughters, or anyone else in the city who belongs to you? Get them out of here before, because we are going to destroy this place. The outcry to the Lord against its people is so great that he has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to his sons-in-law who were pledged to marry his daughters. He said, hurry and get out of this place because the Lord is about to destroy the city. But his sons-in-law thought he was joking. With the coming of dawn, the angels urged Lot, saying, Hurry, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be wept, swept away when the city is punished. Verse 16, When he hesitated, the man grabs, grasped his hand and the hands of his wife and of his two daughters and let them safely out of the city for the Lord was merciful to them 
As soon as they had brought them out, one of them said, Flee for your lives. Don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plain. Flee to the mountains or you will be swept away. Verse 18. But Lot said to them, No, my lords, please, your servant has found favor in your eyes, and you have shown your great kindness to me in sparing my life. But I can't flee to the mountains. This disaster will overtake me and I'll die. Look, here is a town near enough to run to and it's a and it is small let me free let me flee to it it is very small isn't it then my life will be spared verse 23 by the time lot reached so hard the sun had risen over the land then the lord rained down burning sulfur on sodom and gomorrah from the lord out of the heavens therefore he overthrew those cities and the entire plain destroying all those living in the cities and also the vegetation and the land but Lot's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt early the next morning Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord he looked down towards Sodom and Gomorrah toward all the land of the plain and he saw then smoke rising from the land like smoke from a furnace so when God destroyed the cities of the plain he remembered Abraham he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived verse 30 which is titled Lot and his daughters Lot and his two daughters left Soar and settled in the mountains. For he was afraid to stay in Soar. And he and his two daughters lived in a cave. One day the older daughter said to the younger, Our father is old and there is no man around here to give us children. As it is the custom all over the earth, let's get our father and drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family line through our father that night they got their father to drink wine and the older daughter went in and slept with him he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up the next day the older daughter said to the younger last night I slept with my father let's get him to drink wine again tonight and you go in and sleep with him so we can pursue our family line to our father so they got their father to drink wine that night also. And the younger daughter, daughter went in and slept with him. Again, he was not aware of it when she lay down or when she got up. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. The older daughter had a son and she named him Moab. He is the father of the Moabites of today. The younger daughter also had a son and she named him ben Ami. He is the father of the Ammonites of today. Chapter 19, which is the book of Sodom and Gomorrah, which is titled, Sodom and Gomorrah is Destroyed. It is a chapter that, even to this day, I come to realize that it has two, two sections. Verse 30 speaks about Lot and his daughters, which is a whole out of topic, uh, which is a whole different story, which is out of topic from Sodom and Gomorrah. As we know in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, Lot, which is a fellow relative of Abraham, they were separated. Abraham and Lot were separated. Lot was given a city. Two cities named Sodom, the other city, the other city called Gomorrah, and so on. Therefore, a lot of wickedness was going on in both both these 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 cities, Sodom and Gomorrah. Therefore, because of wickedness, the city had to be destroyed. So Lot was saved because of Abraham's prayer, as we read in. Verse 18 about if there is one righteous person 
let me live as long as they chose not to uh, keep in heart the city that uh, was acting in such kind of ways of being wicked. For as we know, God has given Abraham laws to keep when those laws are broken. Now it has become wicked and sinful in the eyes of God. So then, therefore, how is Sarah the free woman and how is Hagar the slave woman? According to this chapter, we can't understand in verse... Verse 27, verse 27 reads, Early the next morning Abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the Lord. He looked down toward Sodom and Gomorrah, toward, the, toward all the land of the plain, and he saw then smoke rising from the land, like smoke from a furnace. So when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and he brought Lot out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lot had lived. To answer the question for why is Sarah the free woman and why is Hagar the slave woman, with an answer that is honest from my heart, if we were to go to chapter 16, chapter 16 in the book of Genesis. Chapter 16 is titled... Hagar and Ishmael. So, even though Sarah was a loyal wife of Abraham, for Abraham chose Sarah to be his his wife through that marriage. There is freedom. There is the covenant of freedom. There is the covenant of freedom of choosing his own. Abraham, um, in referring to Abraham's choice of wife over Sarah. For as we know, Abraham was destined to meet Sarah and be ordained in God's faithfulness divinity of power to be able to put each individual together so therefore Abraham was chosen to be with Sarah therefore making her the free woman Sarah is the free woman and as we know Hagar is a slave woman though they came from the same roots roots of family Hagar was not of the same tribe as that of Sarah and Abraham. Therefore, she is a slave woman. But because of Sarah's physical desire to have children and taking the decision by a thought to tell Hagar to have a child with Abraham automatically makes Hagar the slave woman. And that is the explanation of why Hagar is the free woman and Hagar is the slave woman. 
me correct that again. Hagar is a slave woman, and why Sarah is a free woman. Until next chapter, which is reading from the Holy Scriptures. As we know, there is 66 books that lead to completing the book known as the Holy Bible. Until next time, adios!